Hey guys, it's Meg. I am back this week with a new video for you. Um, this is going to be our standard weekly tarot reading um, because, you know, I got done with my elemental zodiac tarot reading series. Um, I will have those links in the description below. Um, but before I get into the cards, I just wanted to, first of all, say a big thank you to anybody who has watched that series. I really appreciate that. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, clearly, it was a lot of work, but um, it didn't feel like work. And that's the cool part. So I'm really, I'm really grateful to be able to have a platform to present that on. Um, so thank you for watching if you did. Um, one more thing, a couple of things before I go. Um, if you like what you see in this video, and if you like what you saw in the series, um, please go ahead and consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell button so you guys can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I have also, hold on, let me take a breath. <laughs> I've also included links to my social media and my website. If you want to get in touch with me outside of YouTube, you can do so. Um, <clears throat> We do welcome comments and questions and concerns, so if you have anything you'd like to say, um, my comment box is open and, and available for you to express those things to me. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to be debuting a new deck for you guys this reading. Um, we're going to be using the Cosmic Tarot by Norbert Lesh. I think I'm saying that correctly. Not too sure, um, but this is a new deck, um, and I think next time I'm, I'm going to be debuting another new one that I have recently brought into my collection. So um, this is going to be tailored in friendship and gratitude for all of you, and thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate your support. So um, we're going to do, I'm feeling a five card poll, but let's see where we go because we may need some reflection. And if you resonate with this reading, uh, this reading is meant for you. So the first card that I'm going to pull is the six of swords. So we are in a moment of transition and we are we are moving on and i like that this card is represented um i like that this card is represented this way because normally what you'll see in some depictions of this card is that it's movement over water however um i'm not i'm not mad that it's interpreted this way because i feel like it's safe to say that we're moving from a time of darkness. We're transitioning out of a time of darkness into a time of light. Um, you'll see this character, and I'm going to assume that this character might have been inspired by dancing or so, some movement. It's a movement card. And you'll see that he's, um, he's not looking towards where his hand and his leg are pointing. Um, He's looking, away, he's looking away from them. He's looking ahead. It's like he's pushing the past away and he's moving into his future. You'll also notice that there's um, kind of an arrow pointing in this direction. Where is he pointing? Where is his head and his, where is his head in this picture? I, th I think, um, I think it's safe to say, at least from my perspective, that um, this character is moving out of a time of light, out of a time of darkness into a time of light. And even though, you know, he might, the situation might feel precarious, there's a lot of hope and a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of hope and a lot of light <laughs> to be gained from this. And where maybe, whereas this might have been the beacon that he was moving towards, before he got here, now he's looking for the next beacon, the next source of light, because this character is moving on. And, um, you know, I think, um, I think it's safe to say, or I think it's a safe interpretation of this card to say that we're, 
moving out of a situation that isn't benefiting us anymore, that isn't necessarily serving us anymore. Um, there's lessons to be learned in all of this, but now we need to take those lessons and move ahead, um, move on, because holding on and staying in one place isn't going to serve us anymore. So that is the Six of Swords. The next card we have is the Devil card. So this is something um, that is frightening, that's holding us back, that isn't, um, you know, that's keeping us addicted and um, because part of part of the interpretation that I've read for this card is um, addicted, bonded, um, held back by something. This is fear. Um, maybe this is a fear of change, a fear of, you know, we talked about transition and moving on with the Six of Swords. Um, this is this is a fear of something and it's keeping us maybe in our comfort zone it it's okay let's acknowledge what those fears are and let's put them to rest because this isn't serving us anymore and it's not doing us any favors so um kind of a racy card actually i don't i don't know if i should show the bottom of that um but yeah the yeah what's holding us back, especially because this is our call to action, the Six of Swords. So let's clarify the Devil card now. Um, we have the Magician. There's our solution. I, I, ooh, I love it. So if we're, being, um, if we're being called to move on, but we're afraid to move on, this is our, um, this is our affirmation. And this is a way of us saying, okay, I'm scared. I need to move on from this. I don't know what's on the other side of that comfort zone. However, I have what it takes to make that move because you'll notice, let me get up close here. You'll notice that there's all the elements of the four suits here. There are flowers and growth. Um, this character's third eye and I'm going to say third eye, but maybe it's more closer to the crown. Um, but crown, third eye. Um, this character's eyes are open to the possibility, and um, they're open to the abilities that they have, right? Um, because, again, all of the elements, the growth aspect, um, there's also light and dark, um, just from the tones of this card, but... Um, there's clarity and the and if this is resonating with you, you have what it takes to make the move in spite of your fear. In spite of the fear, you have what it takes to make the move. So um, it's okay to be scared, it's okay to be nervous, but you got it. You got it. And I'm gonna add this you're not alone. You're not alone because how many other people have made this transition before you? Countless, I'm going to say. Um, but we got it. You got it. You're okay. I'm with you too. So that is the magician. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a seven card pull. So we have um, two more from the middle. Um, we have the Ace of Cups. So this is our opportunity. Um, this is our opportunity to kind of dive into our emotions um, because you'll see this cup is spilling over. There's a lot coming out of it. Um, and I, I'm going to get a little personal with you here. Um, I resonate very heavily with this card because I have a lot of water placements in my birth chart. And... I'm, I'm an emotional little bean sometimes, so um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of emotion attached with this transition that you're making. And uh, again, this might be fear, this might be excitement, whatever this looks like, um, it's certainly appropriate to be 
feeling a lot right now because it's it's overflowing. You'll see this cup is overflowing. Um, if this is uncomfortable or if this is an uncomfortable emotion for you, it's okay. Um, if this is a happy emotion, I mean, oh, how, how extraordinary it is to feel that much happiness, that much peace, that much light. I mean, I'm going to equate this with um, rays of the sun. Um, especially if this is a very positive, happy emotion for you. Again, if you're feeling some kind of way about this transition or this uh, emotional experience, it's okay. You're not, again, you're not alone. You're not alone. So that is the Ace of Cups. Ooh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles coming out next. I love it. That's four. So this is five. There's a there's gonna be some new opportunities for you in terms of raising your finances or in terms of um, creating abundance for yourself. Again, there's a lot of light coming through. Um yeah, there's there's I feel like it's safe to say there's some really positive, amazing things coming from this moment of transition, and it's going to be very light and happy and peaceful, hopefully peaceful, but you know, if you're, you're getting out there and hustling hard for that paycheck, honey, you got it. It's going to be great. <laughs> you're going to bring this in for yourself, for your family. Um, abundance is yours on the other side of this fear and transition. You got it. I told you you got it because look what's coming out, right? Um, I love this. Um, you're reconnecting. I'm going to say you're reconnecting with your, your roots. Um, and I get there because pentacles are associated with earth, material wealth, abundance in terms of physical things. Um, but I'm going to also take it from... Um, rerooting and um, putting down stronger, um, stronger foundations so you can maintain this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. We'll leave it there. Oh, cool. So there's our five from the middle. We're gonna shuffle this again and see what our hidden energies are. Okay, one more. Okay. No, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again. Got a couple of cards pop out and um, wasn't wasn't totally comfortable reading two of them. So um, the first card we have on the bottom is the Ten of Cups. Oh, I love this. I love it. What did I just say about the positivity, the the emotional aspect, bringing in the abundance? We have the Ten of Cups. So this is, this is about um, stability, satiety, love, peace, um, just, just all around happiness. And, and yeah, just all around happiness. Once we get past that moment of change and unhappiness and fear, here's our hidden energy. This is what we have to stand to gain. And so I have a deck called the Urban Tarot by Robin Scott. And the creator of the deck talks about love that is no longer that first spark. It It's rooted, it's taken hold, and it's going to go on forever. It's going to, it's going to move this you know, certainly this character, but the people experiencing it are going to be experiencing it for a long time. We see all of this abundance and we see all of these cups overflowing. Yes, absolutely yes. I love moments where it's just, it's peaceful and maybe it's quiet. And I, I like my silent quiet time. Um, whatever this happiness looks like for you, I'm, I'm really hoping it comes in for you because yes, yes ma'am, yes sir, yes my fellow people, 
boy, do we deserve this. Boy, do we deserve this. So this is the Ten of Cups. This was on the bottom, by the way. The card on the top is the Ace of Swords. So um, there's an opportunity to harness our new energies. Yeah, there's a there's an opportunity to harness our new energies and make them work for us. In fact, there's a lot of opportunity in this front, you know, in this reading, and I I love that. Um, let's see where it goes. Let's see where this ends up. But let's also um, let's also see. Let's also be careful because swords you know we have so swords are associated with air intelligence um, mental pursuits things like that um yes this is an opportunity to seize the day is what i'm getting out of this but um let's be careful of the aftermath if we are behaving brashly or in a mean way, you know, that, that has fallout. That could put us back to our double card. Um, it's okay um, to maybe stand up for yourself. Maybe you find yourself in a situation that isn't particularly safe. Um, it's okay to defend yourself, but let's, um, let's not be aggressive. Let's not be mean. Let's try and defuse the situation the best we can. Um, but we have an opportunity to maybe pursue that dream that you've always wanted to pursue. Um, this this is the start of, of whatever your new situation looks like. So let's see where it goes. Let's be careful. Um, but we, we have the opportunity, so I think it's best to seize it. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so mm, I love this reading. <laughs> One of my favorites so far, and thank you for letting me do this for you. Um, I'm going to leave this reading here for now. Thank you for tuning in if you did. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, again, if you want to get a hold of me outside of YouTube or if you want to see more, everything is in the description below. So I will see you guys with another reading next week. Bye, everybody.